Hey guys and welcome back to Satisfactory. We are trying to work on these uh, rotor stators, whatever they're called. Um, the first one. How did I... Let's see how I positioned this stuff. This stuff's really nice. Hmm. Yeah, if we do... So if we do that and have the two side by side... And then we... Yeah, okay. What the fuck is that? Really weird sh shadow there. Ah, I don't fucking know. Okay, so we're gonna have... A wall, a wall conveyor. Right there. Then can we grab a constructor? There. That constructor there. And you're making me... No, you're not making me iron rods. You're making me screws. You're making me screws. Alright. And some bloody distance on this stuff. Jesus. Yeah, that's our little uh, outpost over there. We can actually see it now. <laughs> God. That's where the other iron is that I need to tap. Down there's some copper, but you don't seem to use much copper. At least I don't seem to use much copper. Maybe other people do. Uh, right, I need production. I need a assembler now. I don't know. I need a merger to head out that way. Mm, okay. And pop that there. Into there. Now I need the assembler. Okay, I think that's as close as you can get, minus... It's fine. Okay, you can figure this. I'm going to make... Rotors out of you. One, two, one, two.
Alright, then that's that, and that is making us six rotors per minute. Perfect. Although, not actually perfect, but whatever. Okay, uh... Okay, I think it's then a wall conveyor here. Okay. Actually, a fair whack of room on this side, which is the opposite side that there's supposed to be room, but whatever. Just the, the side that we managed to build on, it seems. Wait a bloody minute, those are placed wrong. Are they not? No, they're not. That's why did I think those were placed wrong? Okay. Uh, I guess this can go. There. All right, I think. I need to hook that up first before anything else. Then you can stick a wall conveyor. Perfect! Okay, let's hook both of those up. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's annoying. Obviously, I've just hooked all of this up, and the main problem we're seeing is that because of where I've placed the, the input to this, Okay, that's where the... No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, that's fine. Making problems where there aren't any. Where's the... Here's the iron rods. Okay, so we need... I mean, first off, let's grab... ...all of these and pull them out. Okay, and this one's the iron rods. Okay, we could have a splitter here. A conveyor lift here. Right now we can build that over there and get that 
to there. All that goes in gets fed. 18 rods per minute, 15, that's 30. Alright, it's not bad. There we go. And you're making what you need to make. Which is bloody wonderful. Alright, they get popped out. And we... Oh, I'm missing iron plates. That's the beauty of this as well, it's like you're never miles away from something that contains a lot of whatever you need. I need a single iron plate. I'm so glad they fixed that so that you can place it on the, the gaps now. Okay, let's grab a conveyor belt now. That's it. Okay, now grab another one. Uh -oh. Oh no. I'm actually straight up out. Is she it? Okay, so it looks like I will need to make some... Is it constructors? Making... Not a constructor, it's an assembler that makes. What the f? It's a fucking furnace, okay? Not a furnace, a foundry. Foundry making steel ingots. Can I make a s I can't make a Mark 3 because I've run out of bloody belts of a moron, but I do have I've got plenty of the Mark 2 stuff. Okay, you'll be doing that. Uh, six. And then can I get a Production, a constructor, there. Making steel beam. God. One absolute idiot. I didn't actually realise it would be like ploughing through steel beams so quick. Uh, I need organisation, a storage container now. Okay. It's going fast enough anyway. Needs 30 per minute, you're making 30 per minute. Hey, would you look at that? Okay. That'll slowly but surely make us st steel beams so we can place more. Ridiculous amounts of uh, level three belts everywhere. 
Uh, right, I need logistics. See, my conveyor lift. I need two more. God. Maybe it's time we went and checked on the uh, the plastic. Maybe it's time we done that instead. All right. I need to <laughs> right, now there's six steel beams. Yeah, I think it's maybe time we che checked on plastic. How's this doing? Yeah, we still have some. Sweet. Got one. Gimme. Right, let's go and place what we've got to place over here and we'll get that done. Donk! Sweet. Alright, let's go and grab the explorer and we'll go to the oil section and we'll go and pick up the... the plastic that we left over there. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. So an explorer? Nothing. Sweet. Hey, I've got some coal, that's fine. Let's jump in here. Uh, right to me to go to the oil then. Don't crash in the shit. Okay. This is probably a good way to get to the. Yes. Yeah, Alright, I wonder if they've made it so that the fucking novelists don't regenerate. Thing is, I can't even check because I've only got one. I suppose we could nip to the sulfur and pick that and pick some stuff up, and pick up some more sulfur so that we can make more. This rude dude still over here. Well, it has regenerated, but will it regenerate between a save and load? Is the question. I mean, I really should just, uh... I really should just build around it. This is me having to blow it up each time. But I shouldn't have to blow it up each time, that's the point. You see. I just swing all the way around to the left. I already done the four rubber one. Why haven't I? I don't know why I've never removed that thing? The Mercer sphere there. I what that's named after? Yeah, because I definitely, I definitely opened that one that's for rubber. I obviously just never, I just never picked up the thing. I'll fucking our stable weight to come around here. Works though, seems to. Oh yeah, I dumped like a ton of coal in here, didn't I? That's right. So it's still been... Wait. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few of them. 
I was like, wait, why is it? No, I think that's I think that's quite a quite a bit. All right, so what we've got to do is we've got to feed all of this into here. Uh, sort take all. All right, and I'm going to fill up the the back of the uh, the explorer in between episodes. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Cedro. You've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.